What's going on everybody? It's Warhawk from Nerf Talk. Uh, we have a video for you here because we have a blaster joining the collection. And it's a new rival blaster that, well, let's just say, has some mixed reviews. But I'm gonna check it out with you really quick. And that's the rival vision. Now, of course, Nerf came out with the new rival blasters, I'm gonna say a couple months ago. There have been a few reviews on this blaster and mixed opinions, like I said. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it with you, but I do wanna get it out of the box so I can give you my honest opinion. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we have the Rival Vision out of the box. And my very first impressions, you know what? The grip isn't too bad on this blaster. It is wide, so it does fit in my uh, adult hands very nicely, whereas maybe a younger nerfer might have a little bit problem getting their, their hand all the way around it. Uh, the trigger is a very nice short pull, and it does feel pretty smooth. Now, when I'm looking at the vision, uh, I'm already like I can already see the rival finisher in this because it's, it's like they took the rival finisher mag idea and just stuck it on this blaster. So the way this blaster loads is it's got the slide on it, just kind of like the finisher mag. You're gonna slide her down. Make sure you pull this all the way down because there is a lock on it for you, but. It's pretty stiff, and if you didn't really pull this down all the way, you probably wouldn't even know it's there. So, of course, with the blaster, you do get these brand new rival rounds. Look at the color of these, pretty cool. Uh, I do like the color, and apparently, these are supposed to be more accurate than the regular rival rounds, but I'm not too sure on that because yeah, I haven't really done any testing on it yet. So I'm actually gonna load some rounds in here and we're gonna see how this thing fires. Now loading these rounds in, uh, not too bad. They just pop in there pretty quick and then I'm gonna release the lock, slide that up all the way. So now I got some rounds in here. Let's check out the prime. Now this prime is a little stiff and the sad thing about this is when you prime this blaster, you actually have to pull this all the way back and then of course that stays and you gotta push that, that in. Now, uh, some reviews I've seen people complain about that. Well, here's the thing guys, the Fate does the exact same thing. The only difference is you gotta push the front in instead of the back. Uh, when firing these rounds, not too shabby. It does seem to fire your you know usual rival uh, feet per second. Now the one thing on this blaster, which I find pretty funny, is see this sight here. Um, so we got this little one here that moves back and forth, and it and it kind of is on a like a like a slope. So it actually moves downwards as you're moving it front and back. As you move it back, it moves up. So I guess that's supposed to help you with distance. Not sure. But the other cool thing about this sight, it actually turns back and forth. <laughs> see that so I'm not really sure what that's for uh, perhaps if you're trying to aim around a corner you know magically you just move the sight and all of a sudden the round will curve that way who knows but anyways the vision it's not too bad you know like I said it, it's a finisher um, uh, the only difference is the mag is attached to the blaster itself so I mean the overall look on this blaster too it's uh, you know of, of the three new rivals that they came out with this one is I'm gonna say the least appealing to the eye uh, the fate and the Pathfinder are just really cool looking blasters this one, a little dull, but you know what? As a pistol blaster itself, I like it. It's not too bad. The price of this blaster was $35 Canadian, which is, I'm gonna say about $13 more than the Fate. Unless of course you get one for free, right Xbox? I mean, you're paying an extra $12, $13, but you're getting five extra rounds. 
you are getting an internal mag, do I recommend the Vision? 30, 30, uh, $30, $35? It's a Rival Blaster, so that's the cool thing about it. Uh, remember, Rival Blasters were supposed to be finished after the curve shots, apparently not. So there we go everybody, that is the Rival Vision. Let me know what you think of this blaster in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, keep on nerfing. Thank you.